coming in. This is with regards to a rather concerning news that had come in with regards to the ICMR data leak investigation. Now, the Delhi police has arrested four people accused for selling the personal detail of Indians on the dark web. Remember, it was the details of 81.5 crore uh, Indians and the accused were arrested around 10 days back. And remember, the data was leaked from the data bank of the Indian Council of Medical Research and put on sale on the dark web. And right now, we have our colleague Anshul Singh joining us on the broadcast to bring us more details with regards to this particular probe that's been ongoing. Anshul, a very good morning to you. Well, what we've learned right now is the fact that for, uh, the accused, four of these accused have been arrested. If you could take our audience through the details with regards to how uh, the police got their hands on them and what more details are we gathering with regards to the probe? Uh, so yes, this was one of the biggest data leak that has happened in the country and uh, the data of more than 81 crore Indians were, were put on actually sale on the dark web. Now these people who have been taken into custody are uh, professional hackers is what we have been told and they met on an online gaming app. All these four people actually met on an on online gaming platform. Post that, uh, they decided to go, uh, go ahead and use their skills to earn some quick money and hence they decided to, uh, to go ahead and uh, leak the data of the vaccinated Indians on the dark web and put them out on sale. Uh, now remember there was a report that had surfaced from an U US agency which had actually pointed out uh, this entire data leak that was happening and post that uh, the uh, Delhi Police Special Cells HSO uh, had taken two motor cognizance of this entire matter and had registered an FIR. Now there were three to four uh, user names that, that were used to actually put this, uh, put this entire data on on leak and through that the Delhi police was able uh, to actually go ahead and uh, trace their exact locations. Now these four people ha who have been arrested have been arrested from three different states, one from Odisha and two others who have been uh, arrested from uh, from Uttar Pradesh as well. Uh, now the person who has been arrested from Odisha is being said to be a graduate from the Indian Institute of Technology and hence he had the uh, requisite knowledge as to how to uh, initially get access to dark web and how eventually to earn money from that as well. Uh, so yes, this time around the arrest that has happened, the Delhi police brought them back to the national capital where they were presented in front of the local district court and a seven-day police demand was given and in that, uh, the investigation that has happened, they have re revealed these details, not only this, uh, but they claim that they had also leaked uh, data from the uh, data banks of the United States as well as Pakistan as well. Uh, so uh, yes, uh, in the in the next few uh, days, we are uh, as the investigation is ongoing. We are expecting that the Delhi police is trying to find out at this point in time if at all some other people were also part uh, of this uh, of this modus operandi or was this a gang that was uh, operating? Uh, because the manner in which these leaks have happened, not only from India but also from US and Pakistan, is what they claim. Uh, it uh, seems like that there could be a larger gang that could be operating over here, uh, which is going ahead and doing such cyber fraud. So yes, the investigation is underway. The investigation is still in its very initial phases as the uh, people have been arrested just ten, uh, 10 days ago and hence uh, more proofs are being collected by the Delhi police to actually go ahead and file, uh, to file an ATI charge sheet whenever the time comes.